Conjuring crew. Today's video that we will be watching is Surviving a Week in the Conjuring House Part 2, Day 2 of Hell Week. I'm excited. I like the first episode a lot, so I'm intrigued. This video is an, almost an hour and 43 because it's 59 seconds in that last minute. Um. Anyway, let's lock it in and get into it. What's up guys, it's Sam McCoy. And welcome to Hell Week. We are attempting to spend seven days inside the Conjuring house and today is day two. This day house two. inspired the Conjuring franchise with a seance performed in 1974 by two world famous demonologists, Ed and Lorraine Warren. This is all because the Perrin family who lived here was tormented by spirits for years. These hauntings they actually started around centuries ago with the Austin. King Philip's War, AKA the bloodiest battle per capita ever fought on US soil. Meaning yes, there are soldier spirits who we've captured time and time again being at this house everywhere and now the most active spirit is abigail arnold who used to live here when this was called the old arnold estate she's known to be a super nice spirit and even serves as a protector and the matriarch of the house and we were able to make contact with abigail last night through cody and satori their method literally blew our mind but we cannot wait to show you again tonight crying. we also have a special guest tonight so let's go grab her from the airport and then we'll get started wait i thought they weren't we supposed to leave After the last time, I swore I would never come back here. Yeah, how do you feel? And you're back. Mixed emotions, you know. It was one of the craziest experiences when you guys brought me the first time. And then when you came alone and I saw my name in the sand, I was like, there's no way I can ever set foot in that place again. <laughs> Yes. Here we are. <laughs> Could you explain to uh, everybody that may not know what you do? I'm a medium. Best way to describe it is I have one foot on our realm where I'm able to see the living, and I have one foot on the other side where I'm able to see spirits that are inhabiting this house and other places. Day two, here we go. That's I'm terrifying. Oh, God. Couldn't do it. Couldn't be me. Oh, always such a gentleman. <laughs> the waivers right by the front door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Just, just Your last time. Yeah, right? Didn't you see the lady in white like right here? Yeah, it was actually this room we were standing. The first thing I saw was two children and it was oh, yeah. I'll never forget them. I started off so confident. I'm like, ah, oh, this is like the house I grew up in. Like, yeah. I'm going to make it through. And nope. the night, <laughs> I was not making it through. <laughs> the woman in white was in this room, and that one will always stick with me because she wasn't online. Right, and I wonder if it could have been Abigail, because we talked to an Abigail Arnold. One of the spirits wants to say something to me. Abigail Arnold. We have the, like, the most life-changing paranormal thing ever happened to us. 16 hours ago right here. I don't know, it feels like time stopped for a second. You got that scary-ass oh, doll behind whoa. you, though. Whoa! <laughs> Episode one is crazy! Wow! <laughs> what is this house? What is this house? I've never seen anything like that before. You still have six nights. <laughs> oh, don't remind us. Oh, God. There's somebody in the kitchen. Someone walked over into the kitchen. I can hear him walking in there. Oh, fuck. Does it smell different in here? I, that's what I thought. It smells very different walking in. Yeah. Once I got in, it's not as much, but like there's, what was that? I just heard like a, hi. It wasn't you sighing I didn't hear that. I, I heard that. I wonder if it's Abigail. I heard a sigh. Is there anybody in here that would like to talk like, to oh, us? Can you give us a like, clear and obvious sign? Click the light. If you're in a different room in this house, could you make a knock from the room that you're in? I almost feel like when we came in here, it got quiet. Keep going? Mm -hmm. What was that? On Why the did chair, they take so long? Off? Dude, that thing moved yesterday. I don't even know if that was on camera. And we were all on the other side of the room walking away from it. The scary stairwell. Oh my god. I hate this. Oh my god, no, these things are insane. Like if anybody steps. wants to say hi, feel free. We're gonna be around here for the next week. Inviting them in oh, is what? crazy. Oh, that scared me. I don't what know. The fuck? I, like, it's just the bull. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's because I was oh. that was my fault. Do you not recognize us from last night? Oh. oh my god, it literally was like acknowledging you. Yeah, up here would be where the children would be playing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we heard Henry last night's investigation running around, specifically over saying. here. So who's Henry? There's also a child spirit here that goes by multiple names. Oliver, Henry, and in the Conjuring movie, Rory. 
We're gonna try to contact this child spirit because we believe that the thermal picture that we captured last time was Rory. Rory was known to play with April and Cindy on the top floor and is now the most active spirit up there. We do have a little boy upstairs, Henry Richardson, that likes to knock little cards Richardson. off the table that happens. The movie, his name is Rory. Andrea Perrin in the book, he was Oliver. But we've learned since then that actually his name is Henry Richardson. Oh, okay. And he was the great grandson of Abigail. Gail and John Arnold. Do you think Henry could have Great been grandson. a little boy Where that he caught on the thermal camera? That's, That's what terrifying. we were talking about. Because weren't you sitting right here? Like, walk us through that again, right? No. You were right here? I was sitting in this Don't sit down I it. was, like, kind of peeking my head, trying to get a better look at him. He was peeking his head at me, and we were just making direct eye contact before I snapped the picture. You know you could see your outline? Yeah. You couldn't see his outline on the thermal camera, but I could see him with my eyes, and so I figured I might as well just shoot the picture. And he developed on the picture. That's that window, crazy. Right? right in this room. Yeah. And this is Andrea Perrin's room. She was in here with her sisters and snuck all the way over there downstairs to watch what happened. What happened though? My name is Andrea Perrin. I am the author of the true story behind the film The Conjuring. Uh, I've also just described that place in the country as uh, a portal cleverly disguised as a farmhouse. There is much activity, numerous spirits that come and go or they stay quietly in the wings until they're ready to show themselves. the night of the seance, my mother was attacked oh. at the invitation of a medium that Ed and Lorraine Warren brought to the house insisting that my mother was being oppressed. My mother was attacked at the table during a seance oh. that went so horribly wrong that she almost lost her life. And you witnessed this, correct? Oh, Cindy and I witnessed it. My it sister like Christine was directly above the room where it happened. She heard everything. And my baby sister April was hiding. It is the most traumatizing event of my entire life and it's hard still yeah. to talk about it because just describing it really supplants me back into the hallway right behind you the front hallway is where cindy and i stood and watched through a crack in the door hold on i'm sorry imagine watching your parent be flung in the air spun around and then thrown across the room yeah that sounds traumatizing we have one last location we needed to check with amanda Birthing room. Last time we came in here, that makes my skin crawl. Yes. Amanda and Scotty's name were both etched into the sand. And remember, the soldier was asking for a medium specifically in this room. One of the main hauntings here at the Conjuring House are the soldiers. Every night, Cindy Perrin would hear about seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. My sister Cindy, in the, I think the second or third night that we lived in the house, came crawling into bed with me and said, I keep hearing voices that they're saying the same thing. They're saying it all together. There are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. There are seven dead soldiers buried in the wall. Nope, the I know. 1675. At that point, I'm telling mom and dad, we gotta go. I'm not about to, no. It was the bloodiest war per capita ever fought on American soil. This battle was fought due to indigenous tribes trying to stop colonial expansion. Back were thought to have come as far out as this property, so it's very likely that any soldiers that were buried here were those from the war. And even in our past investigations, we've confirmed on that. that there Kinda. are soldiers here, and they most likely are trapped. Do you yeah. believe those soldiers are still here? I do believe that. We don't know the full history of what actually happened here. We can only guess that there were skirmishes, but it was the bloodiest war on U.S. soil yeah. ever. And I know that Corey and Jen Heinzen have had ground-penetrating radar done, mm -hmm. and and located what could be where the seven soldiers, I think you know where the flags are. Yes. yes. That yeah. Could be outlines of coffins or something where they might be buried. That's crazy. Do you see or feel anything different coming in here and watch your head? It sounds so weird. It's almost like there's pressure on my heart. And not just because it's muggy and kind of stuffy. It feels like there's actually somebody putting pressure on my chest. Sometimes I could be feeling how somebody here passed away or how somebody here felt. I, mean, I would be stressed like doing home birth 300 <laughs> yeah. years ago here. Like what? We had so much activity last year with soldiers and they kept calling specifically to you. So I'm excited to see if they're happy that you we're back. look directly at the camera. All right, guys, we think it's time for the investigation. Verifying. And to start things off, we're going to go grab Cody and Satori. Gotta save the best for first, I guess. 
their method what? that they do absolutely blew our minds. And it's probably going to change the world. Not even kidding. This is it, by it far did. the most clear communication sure with the afterlife we have ever captured on camera. Easy. They were willing to help us out even more during our investigation this week. Basically what happens is when they touch, spirits from all over come into the room and you can hear it through tapping noises. <laughs> then we're able to talk to them through the alphabet. It's hard to explain, but you'll see in a second. We already saw it. Well, I already saw it, so I understand. What's happening in that house right now is just as significant and just as amazing and mystical and magical as what happened to us 50 years ago. Last Halloween, Cody and Satori were there. We met and them. all the spirits started knocking, rapping, tapping, knocking, knocking. I mean, it was so, you couldn't just hear it. It was like, getting out of there. I'm getting out of there. last night, by the way. Oh, yeah. We did that last something. night. They are. I lived long enough to see direct conscious contact made between mortals and spirits. Is that the first time you've seen something like that as well? Because that's the first time we've been doing paranormal yeah, no, investigation Cody for years. Yeah, and Satori are completely in a league of their own. I have never seen anything even remotely like what they are able to do. And when all the rapping and tapping started, she's like, okay, rapping you have a message tapping. for Andrea. What is it? How many words? It was four taps, so four words. And then they spelled out, we miss your family. Oh my God. God miss your family cabinet door oh, oh that just opened is that from like walking wait 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 i didn't get that okay but that just opened do you think walking can like make this well let's well, test we... it out and just like open yeah and i wasn't even filming wow i wonder what it's oh, pretty no, hard yeah. we do I've... like three tours a day with I've 14 people that, each yeah. walking through this room and we've never had that happen never. Wow. That's a static box, is that what it's Yep, called? so it detects static anomalies in the air, so it's... Like so that? Give you proximity of where it's coming from. Can you walk around that and show my friends how it works? I'd appreciate it. Walk either to the left or to the right. Thank you. Wow. If you could get all... She'd be talking to them like they like a kindergartner in class, like, okay, can you go to the left a little? Thank you. Like, what? <laughs> to blue i'd be very happy if not it's okay though knock it all the way around can you get to blue Ooh. thank you so much <laughs> wow thank i'm leaving, you. I'm leaving. that looks a lot less intimidating to something that may look intimidating to a child you pet him and he's happy yeah. oh that was a perfect <laughs> little song grandpa <laughs> built into it and um Looks a lot more cute, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Open that door. Because we had a lot of communication last time we were here from the birthing room. And our goal here today, as you guys saw how oh, amazing right. Cody and Story were <laughs> last night, oh. like we want to combine their ability to talk to ghosts with Amanda's ability to see the ghosts. Maybe we can uh, get something amazing to happen. What do we do again? We have nothing. Just stand there. <laughs> nothing. We are Just stand there. Endless. Henry, are you up here? Can you make all the lights go off? I've never seen them go off so much in like five minutes before in my entire life. Really? It's, it's pretty rare for these to go I, off. Sometimes it doesn't go off at all. Hey. All right, if anybody's here, I am by the birthing room. I would appreciate you to come in here. Which direction is that? It's like you hear them coming up the stairs. Where Andrea Perrin used to sleep? Coming up the stairs. Hello. Excuse me. Can I get one for yes, two for no? Do you understand me? One for yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Can you do that three more times just to confirm for me? One. Two. Three. Thank you so much. It's great to talk to you this evening. No. Are there multiple people here? Yeah, there's somebody over there. I hear them. You picking up on anything? One is a boy and one is a girl. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, good. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Is Henry up here? Yeah. Oh my God. Sounds like he's over there, is that right? No, no? where is he? Can we point? Over here. By Winston. Okay, that's good. Tell him to pet Winston. Too. Can I get 
Can I spell your name? Shit is insane. Is there somebody in the birthing room? Oh. Mm. Okay. That's the lady. No, you don't want to do that? Okay. There's like people it running like all over the place. Around, yeah. Can you do me a favor? Spelling. A, B, A. A, B. Abigail. Yay, it's Abigail Dr. again. Here too. Abigail. Abigail. Kids running around? Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Can you tell the kids okay. to stop a, running? B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, N, man. There's a man here too. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Outside. Out. Out. I thought it was O, U. Ouija. R, S, T, U. Yeah, you're right. Outside? There's a man outside. Oh no. Okay, no. 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 outside is not living. Do you know who that is? Could no. you go ask them their name for me and come back? She don't know who they name. And then walked away. Do you walk away? It's somebody that I saw the first time I was here outside the kitchen window. Oh, like the soldier. She literally has written down soldier. Soldier. She right left. There? She left to go ask her, and back. now she's coming back. Hi, Abigail. Okay. Is your Bro. name? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, She's just like staring this. T, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. There's two men. Okay. Oh my, I'm not Did going outside. I want to go home. Somebody sent a helicopter. A, B, B, oh. both. Great. Can I get one of their names? Okay. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, A, B, Frank. I wrote R and it stopped on R and oh, I was Wow. <laughs> Wait. Okay, more. A B B A B A A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R B A R Brock. Is it Brock? No. B A R a B C D E F G H I J K I spell Brock. M N O P Q R S T Bart. E A R T Bart. more. The, my last name is Bartlett. Do you, do you know a Frank? My dad's name is Frank Bartlett. Oh my god. And nobody like I, I don't use my last name on social media. Okay. Hold and on. they're like dancing. Oh, is her dad is here. Say? What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Okay. Is her dad dead? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Grandfather? He's named F after. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E, F, G, H, Great. Great grandfather, Frank. So, yes, so I, my great great grandfather is Frank. My grandfather is Frank. My dad is Frank. So this is the great grandfather. Okay. Oh. oh my God. God. He's outside. G H I J K L M N O P Q R S A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T A B C D. She's guessing all. A. 
I'm right. Stanley is their middle name. Frank Stanley Bartlett. That is their full names, all three of them. Amanda, can you see him? No. What? Wow. All right, so are we talking to Frank? Stop He's showing that side time. camera. I'm scared. Okay, so you're <laughs> speaking for him. Okay, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Bring him upstairs. Tell him to come inside. Okay, how many words? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, W, A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I can't stand it. Why do they keep going to that camera? Nothing's moving. R, S, T, watching. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, over. Over. Watching over them. A B D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T T A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y T Y A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y T Y A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y T Y A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y that's my brother's name. Oh my god. That is my, oh, that's my brother's name. So he must be acting as some sort of like guardian. Like he's watching over. Yeah. Okay. Aww. What do you think of that? I'm shitting my pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Like nobody knows my last name. Nobody. My dad doesn't go by Frank. He goes by Stan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is so. As somebody who sees dead, to be this shocked is insane. That's crazy. And the whole like watching over, I thought it was gonna go a different direction. Um, my dad's mom is in hospice right now, mm-hmm. and she was given three months about five months ago. So she's not doing too well. And when it was watching over, obviously that's all on that side. That's kind of where I thought it might be going. Are you trying to say something? You're being very loud. <laughs> Can I say something? It's like, shut up. <laughs> I know. She's like, listen. I have more to say. Can you say something? No. Hello? I walked away. Walked she, downstairs? Imagine she oh, went back to go ask else? her questions like, how is she doing? <laughs> Someone else is coming Someone's up. coming up the stairs. Can <laughs> Can we also ask who or what wrote the Amanda name? You can ask and see if they know. Is there a spirit here that's uh, been here for more than two years that would possibly know what happened in the birthing room? Walking up here, like... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, A, a A B C D E F G H I J K L M name. That's what I wrote down. Name. So some the person that wrote the name, like there was a name in the birthing room you know of. Okay, so they know what you're talking about. Can you help us understand who wrote the name Amanda in the sand? Nodding her head like she's got all the whole words. Henry. E A B A He A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S A B says He says A B C D E F G H T He says he a B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S A A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W saw he said he saw A B C D E F G H her. He says he saw her. A bit. Her? He said he saw her? He saw her. What does that mean? Oh my oh, what gosh. does that mean? He saw Amanda. Somewhere. But she wasn't at the house. You guys called me that night. But that was after. Yeah. 
I mean, if this is a portal, well, what if they're they just, just still walking around? Else yeah. in another spot. Or get not even here. I don't know what they're doing right now. Having a dance party. Sounds like multiple people. Who is he? A B C D E F G. She makes my skin crawl every time I hear them. L M N O P Q R S A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O A B C D E F G H I J K L A B C D Soldier. 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 Oh my this God. The soldier that I saw. That is literally. You saw the soldier outside. Uh huh. The he soldier. Said he saw her. The soldier was the one that was requesting that Amanda help the soldier like two years ago. But we just got that through a music box section. We didn't actually get confirmation of that. But I saw the soldier the first time I was here. So like he's confirming that you guys saw. We saw each other. Or he saw you. Whoa. Yeah. So uh, that's, wow. I don't that's know anything about scene. this. So I'm just yeah. going to, if you know what that means. Yes. But, <laughs> like, is that the same soldier that you saw outside walking past? I think it is. We can ask. Do you know? Yeah? Is it? Okay. Wow. Yeah, is that the soldier you saw in the kitchen the first I, time you came here? Mm -hmm. Remembered you and wanted to call you back. Did you make eye contact with him? Oh, yeah. So he saw you and he just confirmed wow. that he saw you. Uh, yeah, he uh, honestly, her being a medium is like... The scariest shit I could ever experience. I would I would hate to be her. Like the fact of seeing maybe she's like become one with it now. But like think of it as like as she was younger, she was seeing people. I've seen that meme that's like, oh, the lady in the chair. And then somebody's like, what fucking lady? That's what that like. I'd be the what fucking lady? Because like seeing spirits has good and bad to it. Like what if that soldier was evil and it was trying to get her? You feel me? It, Anyway. That he wrote your name in the sand. I wonder if he's not allowed in the house or something. I wonder if he's just outside because yeah. she keeps running somewhere and coming back. So I don't I know hate if he's that just wandering freaking out camera there. Angle. Ask a question. Yeah. I mean, is there something that I can do to help this soldier to help you? He going freaking. She's coming back. Did you hear that? Don't pick her up and Okay, do you have an answer for that, Abigail? I think it's still Abigail. Whoa. Okay. Do you have yeah, an answer dang for it. that? Do you know? A B C D E F G H A B C D E K Orbs. A B C D E F G H I don't know. That freaking camera angle scares the shit out of me. P Q R S T U V W A B C A. He wants. A B C D E. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O two. A B C B A B C D E F G Keep saying it. Let her finish. Let Abigail have her moment. R S T U V W X Y L M Okay. A B C D E F G H I J K L M You don't want to be free, apparently. L A wants to leave. E A A B C D E V. He wants to leave. He wants to leave. He's trapped. Just like we found out with our equipment. That has been everything that we've encountered the last two times we've been here. Yeah. The soldier wants to leave. But is it something where he he can? He's just holding himself because I know you've described this sometimes. Is it almost like he's reliving? Okay. So I'm wondering if he's like still thinking it's like different time period. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. He, he was... feels like he's trapped, but it actually isn't. Maybe he feels like it's still like current day whenever he was. And... Cause you couldn't like leave. You couldn't in the military and stuff. Right. You couldn't abandon so your post. So maybe he's just sure. his stubborn, I'm still serving. So he wants maybe to leave. Just... That's so sad though. He wants tell to leave. Abigail to go... we've ever talked. Tell Abigail to go downstairs and tell that man it's 2023 and he is off duty. Get on. 
to someone who claimed that they were a soldier. What? Because that's literally what we've contacted every time we've been here. First time we were in the basement, there were it's soldiers like, saying we're trapped I'm in the wall. Here, and then the second time we were here, we were in the birthing room, and a soldier came through and said, I want to speak to Amanda. She can help me. How can I help? Uh, exactly. Maybe you're just going to give him closure. Yeah, maybe yeah, it's a comfort. Maybe yeah, it's maybe anything. it's a comforting thing. Yeah, Tell we've him. each other for so long, you know what I mean? And to have somebody, to be seen. Yeah, to have somebody know that... That was a yes. <laughs> yes. So, so what I'm gathering is he just wants somebody to talk to him, make him feel, like, understand it's a new time. He's not still serving. Okay. Yeah, so, so maybe you're the person. Maybe I, I'll have I can do that. Like, yeah. Maybe. I think you're totally right. Is really the soldier just lonely? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a louder <laughs> one, too. That's not hard yet. It was like, yes. And this is Abigail that's saying this, right? Yes. Oh, thanks, she's a messenger. messenger throughout the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Like, yep. She has a very, she's she has a good energy when she talks. She's like, always been like a facilitator too. Tonight, just be like, hey, you know, have a talk with them and be yeah. like, don't feel like you have to do anything. And if he's outside, maybe you should do it outside. There maybe go. not go outside. Get more not to do much outside. <laughs> What's that so about? Y'all got warned. Lots of things that you do. To be cautious yeah, and have good intentions. Good intentions. We'll have good intentions. Yeah. The woods are just completely different entities than we're used to, and I'm sure the spirits of the house are used to. I think there's a lot of... And like, those people over there? Different breed, baby. ...energies out in those woods that are just, I don't know. When you say different... <laughs> We've had evidence that there are Native American spirits out there. People have claimed that there are elemental spirits out there, like higher beings. One night we had drumming come from the woods that was so <laughs> loud, and then it worked its way up to the house, and then the power in the house went out. So it's... Yeah. <gasps> yes, is she down she went to come outside. help us or protect us or look over us? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. That's literally the first time we've talked to somebody through Abigail that was talking about a soldier outside. Which wow. Is interesting. So we must have a connection with you and you saw it. That is insane. I think you like them. I haven't had you talk so much to somebody before. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Ab Abigail doesn't talk this much? She talks to us, but, you know, when it comes to other people, she kind of does her own thing. So it's interesting that she wants to talk to you we'll guys. Fling them so around, you we can stop I'm if uh, she's tired or whatever, but if, is there any reason why? Is there any specific reason why she might like to talk to us? Is it because we can get a message out? Yeah. So you know how I was telling you about the, the picture boxes, the magic picture boxes, the moving pictures? Okay, so they can get anything you need to say out to a bunch of people that have those boxes. Right here, what I'm holding right here. Yeah, you like that? Okay, good. She's got a wow. message. Wow, so they just the want the world's coming to an end. Their message. Mm -hmm. And so they like us because we're the ones that can do that. 100%. That's insane. I think. A little happy dance. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> so Abigail, can you stomp your feet as loud as you can, real quick? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Thank you. The fact that when you guys let go, it stops, and then you... Yeah, it, it only happens when we touch unless we've had people go in the middle, and if we're on either side, it still works. So it, like, passes through you like an energy current, uh -huh. but it'll still work. So. Did you, have you ever asked her why it's you guys? She just tells us what she sees. She doesn't know. She's told us that when we touch, we become very loud and oh. that she sees a big light go up in the air. That's what she says she sees. That's what I've always described it as, is it's like a lighthouse. Like mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. and like they're drawn to that where they can tell when you have those Mosquito. abilities. A lighthouse would make sense. Mm -hmm. I, she, I don't know if she knows what that is, but it would make sense for what she described. She just says she sees a big light in the air. If she's not tired, Abigail, it's totally fine if you don't want to do this, but I'm curious if she can touch Winston or make one of these light up. Can you try? Try walking around the room over here. You see these things on the ground? There's one here. See it? Just one off. Now see if you can go near one of them. Or a pen. <gasps> oh, oh my god. god. The fact that <laughs> haven't gone off at all. <laughs> Thank you. you. 30 minutes. You are amazing. You know that? Thank now, you. I know some people may. I'm still leaving. I'm leaving. I don't care if it turned on. I don't care if it didn't turn on. It, I. Abigail. Abigail. She's doing a little dance. She's so happy. Oh my We're gosh. So proud of you, Abigail. Abigail, you're going to you're going to teach millions of people about you and the afterlife. 
Yeah, yeah. If there's one thing you can say about where you are without, I know sometimes you say you can't say things. Can you say anything that would tell people what it's like or about? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Good. Oh, Life's good. It's good. You said good. I did. I wrote oh that down my God. right after the question so got asked. That's, that's what I heard her say. Wow. That's awesome. Thanks for talking. I'm going to take a little break, okay? All right. See you in a bit. Thank you. Being a bit is crazy. <laughs> Being a bit is uh, insane. Question for you guys: Does is that mentally exhausting? Not Physically, so much men more. mentally, yeah. It's like energy. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel it like shin splints in my ankles. She kind of feels it in her head. Mm -hmm. Oh so man. It's almost like a a current of some sort that we don't know how it works. Well, yeah. thank you Weird. so so much for doing that. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally mind blowing. That was so That's phenomenal. Oh, stop it. Uh, look at this. Like, like, yeah, we are friends too. Though. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Abigail. That's you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I cannot believe here. that. You've never tried equipment with your guys' I don't even know what to call it. Power? Ability? <laughs> Ability. <laughs> you sound like a superhero. Your method. Uh, your method. Your method. I like that. Own method. I like that. We've had some things like recorders, uh, K2s, but nothing like this while we're doing it. So it's cool to see other equipment react. Didn't go off for 30 minutes. Can you go do that? <laughs> Boom. Well, I'm glad that we can excite you by holding hands and making knocking noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Ow. That's crazy. Thank Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uncut so, you take knocking You can take a break knocking for a second, nothing. or you guys want to go debrief outside? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do it. Thank you, guys. They're going to go debrief outside when they just found out that there's two men outside. So I've always been car. one that's so supportive of equipment. It's hard to prove unless devices go off as I'm doing, like the picture of the little boy I took. But to have me being able to write down and say before what these things say, that's- and Then they confirm it? Yeah, and they don't know what I'm writing, only you do. But okay, this is what's really interesting to me. You couldn't see some of the spirits that were right in the room. Mm -hmm. That just shows that like some spirits might need more energy Big crack over there. That was so loud. Or possibly a different energy. I was gonna say to some, manifest. Some energies must manifest in sounds, visuals. They manifest in different ways. Or some you might not see at all, and then you can capture them on a picture. I don't know what the difference is. Somebody just poked their head around the corner very low. A kid or I don't know, but it did not make me feel good. The fact that they also yeah. said and confirmed that it was a soldier who we were talking to in the birthing room two years ago, and they specifically asked for you because. You're like, she can see me. He liked you and he was lonely. He's like, I want to talk to this girl that can see me. Two no. years ago? He remembered you from two years? But how many true mediums do you think come here that can really genuinely see him like a person? That's probably a rarity for him. Like, imagine how long it's been and living your life like that. They didn't know you were coming. So, like, it couldn't have been, like, research or something like that. That's no. just insane. Nobody knows my last name. And then you hear him go down well, the stairs when do. they leave and then step up. That's the crazy part is you can hear it literally getting farther away and then you can hear it getting louder like as if a real person was there not a spirit is there any way that is debunkable absolutely not absolutely not there's no Someone will find a way to try and debunk it. I promise you. A way that I would be able to know when the knocks are gonna happen on what letters, mm -hmm. and I was. Sam was watching me yeah, do it. Yeah, every single time she guess it correctly. If there's people watching this right now being like, oh, the Conjuring House, it's a haunted place, so it has like a sound system put inside it. Guys, this is a 300 year old house. That would completely ruin like every, and it's, it's made of wood. Like you can literally, I can see like downstairs from the <laughs> tracks right original here. Original from 1736. You think they're gonna really like, do a sound system through the stairs in every room. Like, but it makes it's not no even sense. a sound system. You could feel it on your feet. That's you it. Feel the vibrations it's... of footsteps down and up the stairs. And she walked and made her then go off. So how do you explain that? You can't. You can't. <laughs> we just... It's paranormal, dude. This is fucking evidence. <laughs> this is what. This is what we're doing for our lives. 
that's so scary because you just saw a scary thing peek around. Like, Abigail, I know it's harder for us to communicate, but please watch over us. She's please. here right now. I know you're the protector of the house and you're the matriarch, and we want to consider you that as well. And you have our utmost respect. We're here for the next five days now. Thank you for letting us in your home. Oh, she was in that room, and as you said that, she walked behind you, Sam, and it's right in between I, you and the wall, Sam. I literally looked up because I thought I felt something go past. Oh, she's right there. Wow. That's okay, insane. It might be annoying. Maybe that, like, we're reacting like this, but it's just something that we want to prove using this magic box of the 21st century to show as many people as possible that you're real. She doesn't feel annoyed at all. She feels appreciated. Okay, you know that's I mean? good. Oh, yeah. Abigail likes us. We got on the good side of a spirit. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, the good side of the good spirit. We get contact with soldiers here inside the house. Down in the basement. I haven't had that. That's literally pink. where we got to. That's yeah. crazy. That's where people seem to have contact with them. Or outside. They've been seen. That's what it is. Thermal cameras. They've been seen walking, pacing up along the stone wall. Floor, it was up where that window is, kind of short, just looked like it shot, like darted away. So it was, oh was kind of tiny to the ground. Yeah, like ground. It, tiny to the ground, but it wasn't on the ground. It was on that metal or on oh. that stone. Brick. Something just jumped off. But that's like it, there was something waiting for us. I've never seen anything like that. Like I have no idea what that was. I just don't like that. Okay, we're just yeah, yeah. We'll just keep that Please closed. Leave we'll that. just not deal with that Locking. for a second. I we really need to go to the basement this entire week, right? I don't think so. Yeah. They don't. They don't want to see us go to the basement. Yeah, that's not yeah. like my challenge for you at all. I mean, <clears throat> now let's get into the negative entities. The last two times we were here, we contacted a very negative entity that called itself Beelzebub or Beelzebub. Beelzebub is known as one of the seven princes of hell, also known as Lord of Flies. He's also Lord of Possession and Gluttony. The Conjuring House was infested by a swarm of flies at the beginning of its hauntings. Maybe this was Beelzebub. Our first time we came here, in the basement specifically, it seemed like we were dealing with something a little bit more threatening, and specifically something called Beelzebub or yeah. Beelzebub. Yeah. Bub. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that entity being here? Yes, so we have three very different energy happening here in the house. Oh. In the top floor, you're going to get the children energy, like Henry Richardson is up there. Here in the middle level, you're going to get more of like the adult conversations, the John, the Abigail Arnold, and maybe other members of the Arnold family. And in the basement is the trickster energy. They like to play tricks like that. Mm -hmm. They want to startle you. When you ask who they are, they're going to say Bezelbub, or they're going to say Satan, and they're doing it just to scare you what do you think they're if anybody tells me that i can't see they're satan i'm leaving i'm leaving Our intentions are then just to like mess with you do you think they could like feed off that power in any any way or are they just having fun yeah they throw you up in the air spin you around this week is to find out room. is this entity a trickster spirit or an actual demon prince All right, guys, it's time for the next investigation. We have two night vision cameras that we're setting up. One right in front of the basement, oh, and then one upstairs. We have the rim mm -hmm. here, and I think, because we're going to do the investigation outside, we open the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, here, no. So when we come back, something might be around. See what happens. What? You heard that, right? What was that? It sounded like something was almost... He was tapping on the glass, kind of. Oh, look, hey, you're opening the door. You should just go downstairs anyway. I don't know if that's no, I don't think that's... Don't do that. <laughs> we have bad memories down there. All right, here we go. Rim pod is... 50%? Working. One's up there. Let me see if this is recording. Good to go. Um, it is... That car just opened. Oh. Yo, that car oh. just opened and that just went off. It's going off right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just blew open. I definitely got that. You know, no, yeah, exactly. The second you open that and walk past, it's almost like something followed you up. Open that cabinet. I walked past it quickly. Was it footsteps? It could have been footsteps no, for sure. it wasn't a drive. Only because we shut it. And when we shut it, this side clicks shut. Oh, you're right. The oh, yeah. And this side did it, which is why Colby and I set this here to hold this side shut. So that does, yeah. 
Dude, 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 dude. We've been saying the basement is where everything is coming from, and I think we're right. In case That's that the trickster. Dude. Just walking around, we'll see you right now if it ever goes off again. Feel free if there is anything in the basement to come out into the rest of the house while we're gone. We're gonna go. Maybe talk not. To a soldier. I cannot believe that covered flu. Boom! That was not that us was for not sure. Us. That's so far away. It's like things are coming out one at a time. So there's something that's coming upstairs right now. Can you hit that red light one more time? The device isn't gonna hurt you, but I'm sure you know that. Abigail, is that you? It's not Abigail. Let's get out of here. Yeah, get out. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh wait, uh, need um. Oh, oh yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, that's literally what someone's grabbing me as we walk. As soon as I cross no. this plane, leaving. Dude. Bye bye, spirits of the basement. Let's see if it doesn't when we all step out. Goodbye. Oh no, my God! Better. As soon as we walk outside. If you're ready for us to leave, can you make it stop? Oh. oh They're like, yeah, get the hell out of here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost fucking died. We're, we're currently fighting demons. Speaking it's of that. Hey, yo. There we go. No, you plug it. You plug it. Oh, there my go. God. Look at that shit. Keep curly around, demon. What the man? Ooh, wait, what is that? We got a new collection. Is that a bunny? We got a new collection. That's Down a below. killer bunny. Oh, show him the psychic. Yeah. Hell, show him the psychic. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, you can buy whatever was on my body. <laughs> Whoa. But that does look like some fire merch, though. Dude, it's funny to think of like Abigail following us and being like, what the She's hell? She's like, what's wrong with this generation? <laughs> These soldiers are like, actually, I don't want to talk like, to them never anymore. Mind. <laughs> We are in the backyard of the Why conjuring he... house, that's right behind Colby. The graves are right here, the soldier graves. So we're gonna try to contact a soldier and figure out why they want to talk to Amanda so bad. This looks like a god dang ritual with all these little candles. Here we go. I already hear somebody's here with us. Is that true? Is someone here with us? Can tell us something about you, your name. Lady. Got her. She's the lady, Abigail. Abigail, is this you? Were you talking to us inside? Tapestry. Tapestry? Tapestry, maybe? tapestry? Colby does have a tapestry over his eyes. It's called a blindfold. This device he's holding, you should be able to communicate through. Holding? Yeah, oh no, my that's, god. That's the device. It's called a radio. What else can you tell us about the hauntings of here, the conjuring house? Can't see. You can't see? Abigail. Abigail! Exactly who I said it was. Breathe. When you arrive, when the boys arrive, Sam and Colby, or? Yes. Oh. Faster. Faster, you want more questions? We are here. Can you tell us how many of you are here? Abigail, are there things out here that could be dangerous? Seven. That's the number I wrote oh down. Oh my god, she just wrote that down. Seven spirits, that was how many are here. You know what, what I scared. want. Do you know what she wants? Out. Out, oh, that is oh, what I want. That's what the soldier. So are we talking to the soldier now? Temperature, compass. Abigail. For a while. Abigail, we plan to stay here a full week. Do you think that is okay? Do you think that's dangerous? Things that are under? Under the ground? Under the ground? Prison. That's exactly Fuck. what you guys got when you were in the basement. The soldiers are underground. They're prisoners. Is that true? They're trapped? Sharp pain. Are you guys in pain? No. Touch. You're not welcome to touch any of us here. You can touch. Sexual. Whoa. Sexual touch? Land. How long have you been here? How many years? Maybe before the conjuring house? The radio. That's what you're talking through. Can you tell us how long you've been here? Look. Look. Is the one. Is it the one that we need to watch out for? Five. Five that we need to watch out for? And there's seven here, and it's Abigail the soldier, and five we need to watch out for? Is that true? Go there in the five house. things that we need to look out for tonight that make the woods dangerous. Down. Down under where? Underground or in the basement? In the basement. Jesus Christ. Major invite. Invite? We'd like to invite the spirits of the conjuring house out here. No! Leave. Oh, shit. They wanted us to leave the house, too. We want to invite the spirits of the soldiers here, specifically the one who... He was wrong. Who was wrong? Bad? He was wrong. He was bad. Rope. Can you give us a name? I don't know. Who are we talking to? Is, is Abigail still here? I'm here like a whisper. Oh, perfect. Okay. okay. Abigail, are you being overwhelmed by the six other people here? Everyone. Does the soldier out here recognize They're us? All talking at the I same can feel Warren. 
Oh. Were you here? Light. Were you here when the Warrens were here? I wonder if this is the bad thing that the Warrens medium invited in. My God. Like somebody was saying like, oh my God. Did the Warrens invite you into the Conjuring house? Unrecognized? Wait, <laughs> he said they were saying like, my God, like, oh my God, like, oh my God. They're not getting what we're trying to say. I'm not, like, you need the keys to. Something else just joined us. Like yeah. Oh my god, so I'm out. Whoa. Oh, I'm out. Abigail just left. I get it. I understand why. Like, this is what she warned us about. Can you answer us? Are we in danger? There's something in the fucking woods, dude. Music? I think they're gonna start going quiet. They wanna say. Who's they? What do they wanna say? The good ones. The good ones wanna say something. We're fine. I don't know if I believe them. What does that mean about anybody else? Who's behind you? Oh, fuck. That's three, three of them. It's three of really where all of the noises are coming from is behind you, Sam. So there's three people oh, that shit. are behind me that are probably not good spirits? Or there's three of us. Three of them, yes. Candles every... Candles everywhere! They don't even see us. us. They're talking about the three of us being here and the candles everywhere. Oh. And they might be so they're talk. It's like they're talking in a group, and they're like, "Who is that behind you?" And they're seeing them, but they're peeping into their conversation with that radio. Oh, my skin is crawling. My skin is crawling. Behind us too. Say goodbye. Okay, they want us to stop talking. Maybe that's another warning. What will happen if we don't say goodbye? You're not gonna scare me. We're here for answers. You wanted us to come out here. How can we help you? Underneath. Something's below. Freeze? freeze. Or free? Free. It's gotta be free. They're underneath Fight. and they wanna be free. Is Do you it... remember me from two years ago? Seeing you. Oh my god. So that's why you wanna talk to her? Because she can see you and you Why? can see her? Like, I'm comfort. So that brings you oh, comfort. See. I'm sure it's so difficult. I want that. I'm sure it's so right now, of course. To not be seen. Maybe he's scared of what's at the house. Me. But if you give him comfort, he'll see. You don't need to be scared. Free? Abigail wasn't very specific on what the boys should be worried about. Can you maybe give them a little insight? What's in these? Dark. Why are the woods so much darker? Everyone has been warning us that they're different. The danger. Why? Jesus. Why is it so dangerous? Is there something out there? Because us. They're all so vague. It's dangerous because it happens. What happened in the what woods? Happened? Death. Death from the war. Stakes. Servants. You think it's dangerous for us to go out there? This motherfucker is just having a Thank disco ball party downstairs. New things every day. Oh my god. We've learned so much this trip. We appreciate you. Thank you for teaching us. You discovered. We discovered how much it could. One of the best something. One of the best methods. One of the best things we've ever discovered. Like we, what we just Kobe did. Kobe and What we just did. Did no. you like communicating through the three of us? Was that easier for you? Then Tori? Go. You think we should go back in the house or go to the woods? What do you want us to do? Oh. Some like growl just came in. Radio again. Woods? Woods. So it's something from the woods. We asked, do you want us to go to the house or do you want us to go to the woods? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to go to the woods. Back Die. there. Yeah, back there, dude. Can you tell us what's out there for us? Look out. That's all they say. What do we do? It's horrible. It's horrible. Look, I'm not going. Can you help us find out? This man is telling me it's horrible. I'm not going. That's fine. That's fine. You might have to be here a little bit longer because I'm not going. We help protect us and figure this whole thing out. It's greater. It's greater. It's like it's more powerful than them. It's greater than That's them. That's what we were thinking about. Like something, this elemental spirit or non-human thing is more powerful than whatever's in the house. Bad. Last chance. If there's anything you would like to say before we leave, I'm going to get out of here. One. Abigail, if you're here, please follow us and protect us. Removal. Okay, we're going to head inside. Alice, lift. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. This is recording, but like we just walked in with this thing just going, going off. That means something is can't coming up from the basement. If this is something that was outside with us, can you make the REM pods stop? Three, two, one. Something's just it's literally basement. grabbing. Abigail, is that you? It's not Abigail. No. Wait, let's go check the one upstairs too. Upstairs is that recording. What the fuck? That one just was on. That was the just static on. one was just on too. Is there somebody up here or just downstairs? Henry, are you trying to play with some of our toys? That's crazy. That Yank it off the counter. It's just a knock from the living room. Whoever is down by the basement, can you come up here with us? No!
No, I'm staying down here. Y'all gonna come talk to me in my room. We, did we did we shut, shut the, door? the door? I'm pretty sure we did. I'll have to check back the footage, but I think we did. Maybe we just didn't, yeah, turn it yeah, like maybe that. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Oh. The lock. Wait. Why is the lock switched? Were you the last one in? Yeah. That makes no sense that the bar was out. The lock is flipped out like somebody's turned it. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, something's happening right there, David. What the fuck? That's two separate devices three. confirming it. One, two, three. <gasps> the red pod right before it, too. Yeah. If it's a spirit from the basement, can you start to walk around that device in a circle? Throw it in a circle. Throw it in a circle. What? Does that sound weird? Yeah, it's like it's almost like breaking. Like yeah. fast. Look, boom. It's here. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now can you move in a circle and step Throw it towards in a circle. Colby? <laughs> Oh, I wanted to see if they knew your name. Oh, keep going. Keep stepping towards Colby. Maybe you can make it all the way to me. Oh my God! It's possessed her. I will admit they do know how to edit a good video because this shit feel like I'm watching the Conjuring movie. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are now in the middle of the woods, actually. We're in the woods? We are in, in the, the woods. woods. And they call it Heron's Purgatory. The house is all the way over there, by the way. Like a mile. Man, well, probably like a half a mile that way. You can't even see the lights to it. Like, Why where are y'all out here? there? We decided since um, we chickened out last night <clears throat> that we're going to punish ourselves by sleeping in the woods tonight because that's what Abigail told us not to do. Okay, so you're not going to listen to the matriarch and sleep outside. They're screaming to get possessed. <laughs> so, right there is where we're sleeping. We'll take a look at our MTV crib later. You have no idea how many times that it warned Sam and I that what we're gonna encounter in this woods, possibly five different things, are all bad, more powerful. So we're Wait a minute, he, Kobe didn't experience, like he didn't hear them talking? Oh, is that why Sam tapped his shoulder? Because he wasn't, he was just saying, he was just being the vessel. Oh, that that makes that part ten times scarier. What the what? A step further. We have two cameras tonight. We got one night vision. We're gonna put on the trail, and we're gonna do a investigation with the Alice box right here by our campsite. If something is right My here, it wants crawling. to talk to us. We have a device that allows you to talk to us over here by the campsite. Please follow us over here. Thank you. So you've never seen one of these before, right? No, you don't follow me. The rundown. Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. It's in a different spot every time. It's not the same color motion either. This will go off just every once in a while and spit out a word, just like an ovalus. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Oh. All right. Oh. It's literally like it's like a in. Solid. Solid. Oh my god. The rim pod either goes off a little bit or it stays on. But this weird like on and off situation makes me feel like there's a lot of people entering this space. I was wondering the same thing. Oh my god. Is what followed us from the basement here? What was that? Divided. Divided. Oh, oh, and there. Dude, no, no, no. Remember what they said about the spirits here? There's multiple that are good and there are also a few that are not. Amanda, you always talk about that there's like a spiritual war going on. Yeah, between good and evil. And it's just a matter of which side you're on and who you're willing to communicate. We are literally on the divided edge. Inside the woods and the forest are supposed to be more negative and towards the house might be more positive. Oh, and then what the fuck? What's, they might have broken our rim pod. I'm gonna go reset it. We heard that the woods are a little bit more on the negative side and or there are something greater out here than the human spirits of the Conjuring House. Is that true? Let us know your intention. Maybe knock on one of these trees, Death. knock over a branch. Destruction. something. Or if that was you, mess little with the world rim pod. Feel free to do it again so we know it wasn't just random. It is weird. <gasps> What was it saying? Attack. 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 Oh my god, we literally said, what is the difference? Like, no, what the intention? And then boom. What, which, which their intention do? is I don't know. attack. Should we see? Like, what should, I don't know what to ask. Something literally just I came would just leave. said that. What are you? What do you call yourself? What do others call you? We know your intention, but tell us something about you. This is what they've been their warning us about. Their intention is it like to we're attack. invading their space? Which would be the indigenous people. Stop yeah, asking right. so many questions. Too. They're asking too many questions. They're asking too many questions. That spirit is getting overloaded. He's just gonna boom, he's gonna blow up and he's gonna freak out on everybody. Spirits are more about protecting than attacking in a Dave. 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 You Call said who is Dave this, left. right? I don't know, but either Dave way, left. Dave left. So who is here? Are we talking to something inhuman? This is this a spirit or an entity that never walked the earth? Give us an obvious sign. 
That is so weird. It's yeah. just so consistent, like the amount of energy that that takes. Single. There's a single entity out here. There's also a river or a little creek that goes right here that could be providing it power. If you're a single entity, do you control all of the woods? If you do, give us an obvious sign. Ah! Did you hear that? I thought I heard like a crunching of leaves over there. Either a branch fell or a footstep. I'm gonna go reset this rim pod one more time. I can do it. Holy shit, it's dark. It's going down. Holy shit. Fit. What? Stock. Stock? The only two things that said it's like intended to do are attack and stock. It's like it's hunting us. It followed us from the basement door because it did the same thing to our, our rim pod. Oh my god, that's such so a it's good meant to attack yes. you. How have we like and not put still... that together? Are you from the they're still staying there. That's my whole thing. Why are we still here if this thing said it's meant to attack and stalk you? And it's evil coming from the basement. We're going home in hell. Basement? Is that true? I had never said it was from these woods. You're from underground. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. There's so many things. What's bad it say? feeling. No way. Bad, bad feeling? Guys, we gotta, we right gotta go. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Gauze. Like, as in, like, an injury, a yeah. gauze. That would be what the, the soldiers soldier. would, like, if they were hurt in the war. If they got attacked. What the fuck are we doing? What if the names that we heard, like, Dave was a soldier? Maybe. Yeah. Could it have been the soldier you were talking to and not an indigenous person? It absolutely could have been. Alphabet. Alphabet. It wants That's to talk to us. Through. through that method. I think we use this alphabet Yanni. method. And Satori, you in the basement. If this is the basement spirit, it might might want to tell us something. Right now it's saying attack, but it might just be, like Jacqueline said, trying to scare us. Now the rim pod's good, perfectly fine. So does it know that we're trying to sleep here tonight? Oh. Yeah. Candle. Maybe it was next to us while it holds candles. Yeah. Maybe this is part of the soldiers that were out there. Or it was watching us. It was watching us during that. We're planning on sleeping <laughs> out here in the woods tonight. We've been warned that is not a good idea. It's we should not. be very cautious and have You've good intention. Do you and think you it still is not dangerous for us to stay that, out here? Though. If there's any other spirits or Abigails out here, give us a sign or Abigail a warning. Abigail ain't out there. Abigail in the house, bundled up. Surprise. Ah! That's a surprise it's for you to find out. That's even more terrifying. That's like yep. not promising. It's like the single worst it. thing it could possibly have said. Yep. It doesn't give us a yes or no answer. It's just like, oh, but that's a little a malicious. It's a surprise. Or a trickster. Trickster. Mm, you're right. We left the basement door open. That's where the trickster would be. We left it open while we were outside doing the candles and, and everything. Let him out. Didn't the trickster try to do things that we've never seen on the rim pod? Yes. Yeah, like, fuck with us. I don't think we've gotten a single positive thing out in the woods yet. The entire the entire time we've been here for the last 48 hours, everything has been positive besides the woods. Do we need to leave? Is it safe here? Oh my god. Ooh, they answer that quick. If you're able. If you're able to leave. I think yeah, so while we are able cool. to leave, we should leave, mm -hmm. regroup, and figure out how to make this more safe. Full transparency, we are not making Amanda sleep out in the woods as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would never come back with you guys. Yeah. Uh, we put her through enough. Maybe let's get you back to safety, and then we'll regroup on how to make this more safe. Be safe tonight, you guys. Oh, she's so leaving. Much. Don't we'll be eaten by bears. Or we'll <laughs> uh, demons. Oh. The soldier will miss you. Oh gosh, please stay here, little soldier. Dave. <laughs> please stay here. And now that just means we gotta go out to the woods. We, that's far too. That's like a half a mile. Yeah. Maybe they should just, they should just. Here we go. This is like the first time we're alone. All night in the woods in general is scary. Where is the we producer? Don't have service out there. We have walkie talkies, but that's it. What I'm freaked out about is animals and the fact that there's intruders on this property every other hour. Constantly. We're literally staying on a campground called Perrin's Purgatory. Dude, this is going to be sick. Happy, 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 right, guys? Oh, oh they. Oh, my God. This is oh, they made that. It's going to be I amazing. thought it was already there. Let's go. Oh, my God. Holy oh, dude. The floor was wet. Oh god, dude. Close that shit up. Hell yeah. Okay, this is a fucking vibe. They have a stripper pole in the middle. They have a stripper pole? <laughs> See that fucking alligator? <sighs> what if we finally ride out and show the audience the challenge for the week? Alright guys, so here's the challenge that I'm making Sam do whenever I want. As you guys might have guessed, I'm gonna make Sam sleep alone in the basement. 
My challenge for Colby is going to be for him to go investigate the secret graveyard by himself. This is literally like two miles away. And there's no way he's not going to get lost. Probably the most terrifying thing you could do at the Conjuring House. So with that being said, we'll see you on day three. They survived night two. Everybody clap. They're still here. We decided to scare. I already said I'm gonna go and they're gonna let me join them for anything. Duh! Oh, what the hell? What's that? Hey! I'm sorry. Hey. You, scared me. you might have missed the scare, but he fucked I was like, ah! Good to see you, bro. Oh, so bro. So dude, you scared dude, the dude, total, man. Oh, Actually, you know what? That's gonna see it. Oh, oh no. I was like, ah, I got, I got a two in one. I was like a deer in headlights. Oh my god. I was wondering why I was quiet too. I'm like, oh, they must be like deep in there or something. Oh, yeah, You're deep in there. Oh, awesome. dude. All right, what's going on now? Have you guys you? summoned us here, so we're here. I just came yes. up from the basement. I live there. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I've been trying to last more than 30 seconds. Have you been doing it? No. It's hard. Bro. No. Yeah, I'm a premature kind of dude. Um, 30 seconds is ain't too bad, actually. Yeah. Speaking of, <laughs> we are living here for a full week. Really? Yeah. A full week? Full week. Well, full week. every we, night. We chickened out the first We chickened out the first night, so six days, so we okay? Got six days. Okay. Six days. Have you ever heard of it? They left. I knew they lived here. A week? No. Hell no. No, not at all. Oh, we all are freaking what? crazy. That's a long time. Mm. I don't know why you guys are doing this. Yeah. Why are you yeah, me neither. Do this? You know, <laughs> yeah, it's their fault. It's yeah, them. Yeah. their fault. Yeah. He bit. Bathsheba! There were rumors in the town that she was a witch. According to the Conjuring movie, she was a Satan worshiping child murderer, and none of that is true. She was actually a neighbor of the Arnolds who lived a very normal 19th century Rhode Island life. The story of Bathsheba Sherman. Yeah. I would love to jump into that because she wasn't as bad of a person as people make her out to be, correct? Correct, she did lose a couple children, mm -hmm. but she was never accused of witchcraft. And unfortunately, you know, because of the movie, a lot of people have destroyed her headstone a couple of times. So that leaves us with the question, if Bathsheba Sherman was not the negative entity who's haunting this house, then who is? Who is? Tonight, we are gonna go to the Sherman Graves. Ooh. We have a little uh, interesting ritual to do, so let's get it. So can you explain the Sherman Graves to me real quick? No. Okay. Uh. Oh, I can't see shit with that light. Is this car meant for off-roading? No. We're gonna find out. Oh, no. <laughs> It's this right is here. Fucking scary. It's right here. Whoa, literally, this is it? This? Yeah. How do you know? I don't. Just know? Oh, we're guessing? Or are you guessing? Well, let's find out. I'm getting a psychic reading, dude. Oh, you feeling it? You're feeling that, Mr. Krabs? No, no they're gonna psychic make. Reading. Go they're, grab. They're gonna make them try to debunk this with that stuff. The psychic reading hoodie that's just out right now. Shopstore.com. <laughs> we got new yeah. merch right here. There's a bunny that looks like it would murder you. Whoa! Okay, oh, down go. below. Boom. The sign's right there. I thought you seen the sign. Oh, no. I just what completely the guessed. Historical Cemetery Town of Burrowville. That is where, apparently, Laura Sherman's grave is. This is the base. There, there's supposed to be a headstone right I here. Oh, right. Yeah, they said they vandalized it, so they, they never fixed it. Dude, wait, that means that the whole Sherman family is buried right here. The ritual. Apparently on a full moon, you're supposed to dance around this 13 times, and then Laura Sherman appears. If she appears, I'm already done the video, because that's scary as hell. So the story yeah. of this is that there was a bunch of teenage girls that did this 13 times on a full moon, and then one of the girls as she was driving home would see this old woman in her rear view mirror sitting in the back seat so many times that she moved. She like left this town forever. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Come on, that's terrifying. Seeing it in your rear view mirror. Yeah, go chew, chew. I almost fell. That was just Laura Sherman, dude, no worries. You might've got pushed, bro. Maybe. This is like the Sherman spot. Dude, that means Bathsheba Sherman herself was probably on this property multiple mm -hmm. times. Yeah, and we think that if we can possibly get her to come out tonight, then she could help answer some questions about the country. She would know the entire Arnold family and probably the history. And she could clear her family name. Facts. That's facts. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. So let's start dancing. Laura, all we want to know is your story, so we're going to do a little full moon ritual. And if you want to follow oh, us back moon? to answer questions about your family, feel free. This is not an invitation to stay at the Conjuring House. Just to follow us. Just to follow us, and we want to clear your family name. Actually, just to follow Josh. Just Josh. Why me? <laughs> 
See, that's Laura that. Sherman. That's the that shit. Laura Sherman. Laura Sherman. What kind of dance do you have to do? Okay, oh. Dad. Number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on, y'all. We're on six. Seven. Oh! The pin oh. drop. Oh! Ten. Ten. Here's eleven. Twelve. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. One more. Thirteen. Right. Boom. Boom. That was it. That was a lot of work. Entire thirteen times on a full moon. Laura Ooh. Sherman. If you want to follow Josh home, you can. <laughs> yes. Jazz is gonna. Sounds so stupid, but I swear to God, I thought I shot. Dude, I did. Wait, what? It's the same shadow. Yeah, no, we I both saw did. Shadow. And the passenger seat, the car, like the front seat, the front yeah. seat. Yeah. Like, what? yeah, I got but it. I thought I seen it when we were dancing, but I don't know. But well, dude, weird. From the story, the girls didn't see Laura right away. They saw her in the car. Okay. Oh. See, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. So that means we both seen it without even like. But it could be. I don't know. It's just weird. If uh, she's already in the car, then let's pop in and go back to the conjuring house. Six. The crooked neck lady. This is a negative apparition that would haunt Carolyn Perrin in her sleep night after night. She would appear floating above Carolyn wearing a handmade green dress with no hands and no feet. Her face was a writhing mass of rotten flesh with black wiry hair. It got so bad that one night the entity actually slammed her head into the bed frame. Paralyzed in fear under her breath she said please God help me and then everything stopped. It is a negative energy for sure. When she presents sometimes I don't know if you guys experienced last time she can present very foul smelling have you experienced she, that smell yes absolutely all right boys just wanted to film. Do you guys see any any old women in the back in the rear view? I don't see anything, but did they see it through a mirror or in person? Because maybe you guys it. They saw it in the rear view mirror. And it's going to be sitting literally in the middle then. That burp smells like <laughs> fucking ass crack. <laughs> Dude, it is foul. I'll pre I had a burrito. That's okay. worse than the crooked neck lady smell. Or maybe it's the crooked neck lady in here. <laughs> oh, there she is! God damn! Really wow. quick, what does the crooked neck... Neck lady smell like, like rotten that. flesh. The new theory is that because Bathsheba Sherman was not a witch, mm -hmm. a lot of people think that the crooked neck lady, because she was the one that was haunting Carolyn Perrin at the beginning, was the thing that attacked her. That the night of the seance. Well, we caught the crooked neck lady. It was something crawling on all fours, and its neck was literally. Like, yeah. Oh fuck! So you smelled her rotten flesh. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah fuck that shit, man. <laughs> all right, let's go. Whoa, paranormal! It's a lot darker and quiet now. Yeah, now it's gonna get real. Dude, okay, every time I come in here, I instantly think of the sounds that happened right there. This is it. You can picture it in your head because it's been documented so many times. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't want to picture that. As soon as the parents moved in, paranormal activity began immediately. They moved into the Conjuring house January 1971, and when the previous owner gave them the keys, he told them, for the sake of your family, keep the lights on at night. Things started off super positive. An older spirit named Manny appeared to them and the parent girls would play with child spirits. But that wouldn't last for long because everything would soon take a dark turn. For example, oh, one morning, Sherilyn was randomly attacked by a levitating wire hanger. The girls would smell rotten flesh and around 5.15 every morning, their beds would violently shake. There was also a swarm of flies which infested this house and up. nobody knew where they came from. But the worst thing that happened is one day, Carolyn was out in the barn and a scythe old Levitated, flew through the air and almost killed her. That's when Carolyn knew they needed help. Oh. Ed and Lorraine Warren were the two most famous demonologists in the world who pioneered the combination of mediumship and technology. Literally, they paved the way for the modern day ghost hunter, and the Conjuring case was their most famous of all. They ended up coming to the Conjuring house five times, with each visit getting worse and worse. On October 30th, 1974, the Warrens came here with a film and audio crew to hold an impromptu seance. This pissed off Mr. Perrin because he didn't want the Warrens investigating the house, but Lorraine said if you you love your wife, you'll let us do this. And the children, who were supposed to be upstairs, snuck down the stairwell just to watch. The 
Lorraine Warren told me she and Ed were in over their heads the moment they crossed the threshold to that house. They just didn't know it. Ed, before his death, described the haunting as the most intense, most compelling, most disturbing, and most significant of any of the investigations they ever conducted over the course of more than 40 years. In the beginning, the Warrens had a medium speak Latin to invite other spirits into the home. Can you go into a little bit of detail about what you what? did see? I've never seen anything like it. What we watched was Ed and Lorraine Warren sitting at the table, my mother sitting in a very large captain's chair. The medium began conjuring the spirits, which is how the film got its name. She was speaking in probably Latin and she had little pouches of stuff and candles on the table. And this all happened within, I would say, five to seven minutes. And what she did is she started conjuring the spirits for all intents and purposes, threw open wide the doors and invited everyone in to determine who the culprit was. Well, something came in that had never been in that house before, certainly not while we lived there. It picked up the table and then slammed it back down onto the floor. The table probably weighed two or three hundred pounds. Don't worry about that. That happens all the time when I'm talking. Your lights are going nuts, yeah. right? They're acknowledging me. The table slammed back down. The priest jumped up away from the table and went and huddled in the corner. The medium passed out on the table. My mother started howling, screaming, writhing in pain. Her head dropped. Her body became contorted and twisted up into a ball in the middle of the chair. And then the chair lifted about probably 18 inches off the floor. And she was speaking in a language that does not exist on this planet. Perhaps it was an ancient language, but oh. not anything that exists today. As she oh. was speaking in this deep guttural voice that was certainly not her own, the chair began to lift up off the floor. And then in a split second, my mother in the chair was thrown into the middle of the parlor and we all heard her head strike the floor and every single person in that house thought they had just seen her die. It was horrific. Roger understandably stood up and tried to check on his wife and Ed grabbed him saying, don't go towards her, she could be possessed. So he turned around and punched him straight in the face. After this happened, the Warrens left and they never spoke to the parents for 40 years. And the scariest part is during the seance, the tapes were destroyed and the audio files were corrupted. I remember wow. my sister, Cindy, saying, no mom, room. don't die, but if you do come back, come back and see us because we know you'll be able to. This was a little kid who had seen enough to know that if but mom died she could that she back. could come back to us in spirit i can't Aww. think of anything more important to know that we can be in contact with our loved ones that it's not just ashes to ashes dust to dust and that they're lost and gone to us forever that's not the truth want to investigate it, right? I mean, we invited Laura Sherman back. We have to. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> Ain't it just kind of like crazy to think about that, though, that it happened right here? The most famous exorcism attempt or seance ever. The Warren's most famous case. Let's get to the bottom of what actually happened that night in 1974. So much of this has been riding on this rumor that Bathsheba Sherman was the cause of it all. Right. Yeah. So what was the cause of it all? Do you have an opinion on what spirit could have done that? Would you say that's the trickster? Or... My understanding was that could have been the energy of the broken neck lady. Oh. Perhaps. Because she wanted to break her neck. Well, this That's is called right. a 360 REM pod. So it has a REM pod on top and a 360 degree motion sensor over here. We'll be able to capture anything that moves in the library. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's sick. That's great. Oh. Dude. Get the fuck out of there. I want those. Those are cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good. Oh wait! Oh, but that, that, that might that's be that's awesome. here. Yeah, walk in front of that just to test it. Okay, oh, so we got to so stand over here. That's a six feet distance to the tag. Yeah, so that's not. Oh, so, there's no way that's me. That's really far away. I don't know. Oh, that that's weird. Here. I'll go way back here. No. Wait, yo, no, 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 okay, no, no, that's no. not. That's not us. Can you do that one more time? Can you walk in front of that REM pod? Got a little device that keeps making the noise. This is how close I'm getting. There. 
What? Okay. So we just can't the stand rest, over there. The rest ain't us, though. From here, it's not. I don't think that's us. That wasn't because well, it went even that way. At us. Facing the wall. So someone's in there right now. They're just Somebody's standing. Like, why yeah, do they dude. like to be just like Were so you over scary? There in the library? Who's here with us right now? Someone's man's there. voice. I know you. Oh, again. Above. Above. Leave. Mary, leave. Claire. They keep Wait, saying leave. Right now, isn't this? So, am I crazy to think that maybe if they're telling me to leave, it's for a good reason? Maybe they don't want to tell their story. Unless it's Abigail talking to me during the daytime. I'm not. I'm probably not even listening to Abigail if I'm being 100% with you. I, if they're telling me to leave, I'm leaving. Cindy parents' room? Above us would be. And that's the most haunted room. The middle bedroom. The middle bedroom. Are you in Cindy parents' room? Yes. 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 Out. You wanted to get us out of this room? Enter. Oh, they enter. want you enter. in. Where do you want us to enter? Do you want us to go to Cindy parents' room? Guys! Guys! Is Laura here? Is Bathsheba here? You I can see? see, or you see? Yeah. Maybe. 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 Oh shit, that thing is going crazy. Oh my god, that is going insane now. We know that Bathsheba is not a witch like they depicted in the movies. We would love for you to come forward to clear her name. You don't. You don't something? Laura, one more time, are you here with us? I don't know if Laura followed us back. I just heard a girl's voice said surrender. Do you want us to go anywhere? Yes. Bedroom. Do you want us to go upstairs? Is that what you're trying to say? I heard great idea. Do you want us to go to the bedroom above us? That just went off. Or the library. Bedroom or library? Bedroom. Dude, I thought it said it. It's Sam. Yeah, I like, thought it said Sam. Sam too. Like a little kid. It's Sam. It's Sam. Dude, wait, 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 wait. The only little kids would be upstairs. So if somebody recognized Sam, be like a little kid named Henry or something. It's Sam. Yeah. Hey, that's Sam. Like they're, it's All right. they're so talking confirmed. to each other and they're like, it's Sam. Here. Then who's right there? I don't know. I don't know. Get upstairs. Um, leave them camera. alone. Oh, get get, yeah. get Let's somewhere else. Camera and go upstairs. Get on. We're going to leave this downstairs. Okay, that's obviously us. This goes off, dude. Goodbye. I just want to see after you play the Let's go upstairs. My name is Reed, I'm 22 years old, and I work here at The Conjuring House as a caretaker. My first night in this house kind of changed my perspective on the paranormal side. Wait, Having a door closed in front of my face, seeing one person in the house that wasn't there. What has been the most active area of the house, or would you say it's all pretty equal? See, I'm the favorite of the basement. I, I, I love That's investigating favorite. the basement, but purely based off of activity for tours, as well as overnights, the middle bedroom upstairs. I've caught in some of my craziest stuff in that room, as yeah. well as having guests experience things during tours. I think every room has its own energy and feel to it. I think it's more of the spirits kind of picking and choosing what room they like most or what they're used to. Upstairs in the middle bedroom, you know, Henry. I'm sure you guys probably heard of Henry. Yeah. Right. So Henry's a little kid. He was probably in his bedroom most of the time. Yeah. Like that little kid we caught on the little thermal picture that one time? Oh, yeah. I think that might be right. Henry. Oh, he scared the crap out of me. That's a good dang demon. Well, something immediately. Neighbors. Neighbors? The Shermans. Yeah. Can you see the Shermans? Everybody. But what if we invited the entire gravesite back by accident? We might have. That would be our luck. What are you trying to tell us? Tired. 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 Oliver, Henry, Rory. They're tired of y'all coming. Equal? Hey, Henry, if you're up here, can you come and talk to us, please? We can play a game if you come talk to us. No, we can't. See a green dot? Wait. Wait or wait? Wait. Realize. It's what? Wait and realize. She's She's coming. coming. Yep. Yes. Oh. Can you tell us who's coming? Times it's three. three. Yeah, times three. Abigail, are you here with us? Oh, yay. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. goodness. Yeah. Yeah, I, get a, sure. I get a sigh of relief every time Abigail makes her presence known. It just makes me feel like, okay, they're not going to get contorted. Uh. Oh. This thing for demons? For or Dave. For Dave? For, for, for Dave, yeah. For Dave? Or for Dave? Are there any children up here at all? 
Oh, All the parents. No. 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 You, come out, please. Thor, the War soldiers. Time? Down something. Down, yes. Are you from the woods? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not good. No. Last night, they said literally attack and stalk. Realize again? Yeah. Realize. That's the second time we yeah. said that. Maybe about the woods? Is that what's the evil thing? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. How about the woods? It's still going, bro. As we're sitting here just talking about the woods. Yeah. But really like, quick, so what if they're from the woods? That's what I'm saying. Like, the things that come from the woods create havoc here and then they dip back out. She like, kept saying yeah. realize. And that was the only person that like, got coming through was Abigail, I think. Do we get any other name or child spirit? No children. They said something about a Dave, but... Dude, we got Dave last night. We oh, did. really? We did. Yeah. And it was the soldier. And that could have been the person talking about the war too and i think abigail is saying like realize that like maybe you and i going out to the woods and doing those investigations was not a good idea i don't know yeah it wasn't i could tell you that what do we need to realize you can't you can't something you can't. go back the woods you can't go back to the woods I heard well, something something's there. there. Yeah. Yes, downstairs. You can't downstairs. go back to the woods because something is there. What's out there? You're not welcome. I heard run back, and then it said you're not welcome. Oh my god. Run again. Run your something. I heard run you three. There's four of us. Yes, that's right. So. Seth or Sam? Did you guys hear that? I heard. I don't know which whose name it was, but I definitely heard that. Can you say the name again? It's Sam. it's Sam. What do you want with Sam? The one over there. Like over they're still there. having so a, a bad thing. That it's like they're still having a conversation. You know, like that's what that gives. We're going to the woods. What Why will do you happen keep to saying us? you're going to? Dead? Dead? No, I thought, Dead. It said, I thought it said found you. Well, it kind of sounded like yeah. a kid's voice too. No, it was a kid's oh, voice. Boy. Yeah. Do you want us to go to the woods? My skin is crawling. Warning. Warning. That was a They're downstairs. Like you can, but this is your warning. I think this is Abigail warning us one more time. Do not go to the woods. They're what do you downstairs. Think about the basement here. They're downstairs. Problem. The problem. What's the problem with the basement? Dark. Darkness. Is there something down in the basement that we should be afraid of? Yeah. Bad. Are you afraid of someone? The Next neck year? lady. Oh, neck. Oh, Not broken yes. neck? Are you scared of a lady with a broken neck? Yeah, I went there. Should we be afraid of the broken neck lady? Yeah. She used to scare Carolyn Perrin in her dreams. Is the broken neck lady here right now? Almost Someone was almost killed by the neck lady. She almost killed with Carolyn Perrin one night. Killed. 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 Did you hurt the Perrin family? Oh. One. Only Can you one say of the them. name of the person you hurt? I won't say it. I won't say it. I heard that too. I won't say it. There's a woman's voice. Can you say how many people are in this room with us? The number? Sam. 53? There's four of us that we can see. How many are you? How many spirits? They all just packed in the room. Like, sorry. Down. In the woods. 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 Was I'm a that lady a teacher? Was she teaching you guys? That went off. Here. Does the crooked neck lady only stay in the basement? Please. Where do you want us to go? If you want us home, to leave. Home. Go home. Look. Look twice. Look out. Third time. Right in front of you? Yeah, that door is open. Move. So what if I go to the door? They just want to be mad. Imagine it just wham. Get out of here. Yo, what's that? Yeah, as soon as you touch that. that, dude. Bro, I have never seen something like that before. It said, get out of here. Behind you, the door. I go closer to the door. Get out of here. As soon as you touch it, as as I did just it. touch it. And it was like a get out of here. Did someone come in here already? This door is open.
open. No, it's fucking not. Look, no, it's out. fucking not. Is, no. The door is completely open. No, it's fucking not. Yeah, it, it is. Caught it on the what? Camera. There is no way. This is recording. Nah, I don't believe it. We gotta see the video. We got Let's it. watch no it. No way that door just opened by itself. There's no it fucking did. way. Let's go watch this. It I did. It for sure. Right, see it. What oh, the fuck? My. Oh. What the fuck? Long Dude, we open. got it. There's a second camera angle. Dude, yeah. it waited till we left to follow us upstairs. Oh, that means someone was in the corner then. We need to find out who this person is. Unless yeah. that's the person that follows upstairs though. It could have been. I don't know. Dude, something in the woods last night said stock. Like it's been following us this entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Standing in the corner. Your camera I'm not going to be able to sleep The camera's then. moving? Wait, 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 wait. The camera's moving. It like, it moved. Wait. Throughout the time. The entire time we were there. It was Dude, like, you said the thing on top moved. was loose. Oh. Like something was trying to press something the thing. Something with our camera. It does Yo, the fuck it. He was trying to, he was probably trying to turn it off. Like this. this is like, this is a this whole is a big move. Over like 10 minutes. It what causes pushed. that? Pressure. Someone's Pressure. touching it. You would never be able to catch that just watching it at normal speed. specific way that you're able to communicate with the spirits here more often than not? Isolation. Isolation, I'd say, is key. Kind of just sit and talk, say why you're here, nice to meet you, can you show yourself? Or can no! you maybe make something happen, touch a room pop okay. That kind of stuff tends to work the best. It's doing the same thing as it did before. So what do you think? Someone's grabbing it? I don't know. I think somebody's like broke our ribbon because like, it's been doing this for the past 24 hours. We were They're just moving the all around it. Like green Ooh. all the way around. What's, oh what's that? Can you walk around it like you just did? Because it did go <laughs> there. Boom. Thank you. Dude, it's doing exactly what you said. You really just asked it to walk around and now it's going. <gasps> what? It stops. Thank you so What the much. fuck? So who is that? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. All right. Well, Good here we go. We're going through. Guys. We'll be right here. I, I swear, hope so. we'll be right here. I really hope you guys will be here. The bright here. side: if something does happen to us, at least nothing will happen to you guys, because you'll know. Yeah, it's we true. can like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, something yeah. happens to you guys. Well. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to matrix so that Colby could still film that. You guys are just gonna wait outside? Yeah, we'll just be right here. Okay. Why is that door so freaking loud? Oh, this is like they're run 2000. They're running away. <laughs> they're running away. <laughs> do you remember us? If you do, can you give us a sign? A knock, maybe? Is there anyone in the library? Can you open up the door again? Oh, don't ask them to do that. I thought I heard something move out there. The perfect. Full moon. What are the odds that we are at the conjuring house on a full moon? Full moons are just in general supposed to elevate the energy of spirits. Yeah, they're gonna start rocking this shit in a minute. The camera so I can see the stairs, bro. I feel like the only way to get through this shit is to like make jokes and laugh. Well, I'm getting dizzy because I think I'm warped because the stairs and stuff here. Yeah, in the darkness. I almost just fell over. See? That was crazy. Yeah, you get dizzy. You can't see in here. Bro. What? Whoa, what was that? Fuck. I stepped on that. Oh, shit. Yo, I just heard somebody. I know, I know. Behind <gasps> you. I don't know if you were getting these vibes too, but something upstairs. I'm not sure how many people we were talking to, but there was something telling us, like, get out, leave. And they went back. Fuck, someone's There's somebody here. Someone's here. There's somebody here. Let's go. Guys, did you just hear that? That's the alarm. Somebody just pulled up right there. Did you see him? How do you guys feel about Sam and Colby being back here? Where's the crooked neck lady? Yeah, if she's here, can you give us a sign, please? <gasps> Bro, next episode, we're gonna finally face the basement. Yes. We've kind of been delaying it because we have a full week, so we didn't want to do it until day four. Gain some confidence, and then we'll go down. It's dark now. Gain any confidence. Just terrifying. Oh, this sounds good. Bro, I can't even walk 
fuck in there? Uh, you want me to go, go first? Hell yeah. All right. Dude, I really can't. Oh my god, I can't see shit. No, it's fucking scary. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts. This is actually scary. Turn the lights scary. on. Come here in a while like oh this. my god. Dude, I'm only going because of you're going. I couldn't be in here by myself. Do you guys see how I just missed that door handle? If you don't want me to touch that door, make those devices on the bed goes off. All you gotta do is touch them and they'll flicker. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I just caught an orb on camera right over um, the bed. I guess you can touch the door. I'm gonna open it. Fuck, dude. You can't even do this. You got it, dog. Oh my god. You got oh it. my god. <laughs> do shit. No, 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 no. I think it might have been in the basement. I heard it from like right next to me, so it could have been into the basement. You know that deep hum of furniture being moved across wood? Yeah. So that's what just happened in there. Josh and Seth are nowhere near the first floor. <laughs> What's in here? I don't know. So there's couch, there's uh, pillows. Yo, I think I, I felt like I just heard something move in here. Now that we open the door, is there someone in the closet right now? What if we take one of these devices and put it in the closet? All right. Can you make it turn on just by touching it? <gasps> Yo, bro. Yo, fuck that. I did not expect that to go off. I'm too scared to do it. <laughs> I'll try to talk. That's scary. <laughs> I don't know why we're freaking out. I think it's because of the, the person that said, don't go near it. Yeah. We just made that happen. <gasps> no. Uh -huh. right, I'm uh -huh. inside, I'm, right? I feel, feel dizzy now. watching this video. Outside. In the kitchen. That's like the only place I feel safe in, honestly. Yeah. They do say that that is like the place that's most safe. Because, because they start flying the knives through the air. Are you the same spirit that told Josh to get away from the door earlier? Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your name? Whoa, what was that? Whoa, you scared arm. the crap no, out of me. Yeah. Get down, get down. Bro, I literally just heard a tap right here. That's why Someone I- Someone just touched my whole arm. Are you serious? I felt the whole thing move. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I saw it. It's gonna be on camera. It's like, they, I think they moved my whole sleeve, my whole shirt. That's insane. I mean, it made me jump. I was like, what yeah. is freaking out? Dude, there's gotta be someone fucking here. I'm not a medium or anything, but it just feels like it now. Wait, I thought I just heard them coming down the stairs. I just thought, yeah, footsteps. Oh, here they go. Where are they? You just heard those footsteps, right? Right in front of us. So we have a device in the middle. So if there is anyone with us still following us, can you touch this one in front of us? We just want to communicate and see if anybody's still here. Please let us know. Communicate. Nope. What was that? What was that? What was that? It was like a floorboard. Yeah. Break. It felt like it was right in the middle of us. This is intense. Why are Get out. Get out. Why are there so many noises tonight? Because so you're in the conjuring house. Uh, uh, hello. It it's been at least 15 minutes. What happened? Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, 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 you can fucking see it. You can see it. Can oh, wait, do it, do it again, do it again, do it again. Go it down, because I want to see it again. Oh, yeah, God. it like barely you moves his shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, something fucking touched your arm. Right you, I wasn't done. freaking out. I no. was real. It, it, dude, it was weird. It moved. It was yeah. like this. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, boys. Seriously. Take we'll see on. you guys on the other Eat side. Em. I'll see you, man. You mean the other side, like the other side? Oh, not death. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> leave a like if that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's my karma. <laughs> Yo, you know what we should do? We should go to like the soldier's grave. This is like You're the not. creepiest thing ever. Look at his face. Wait, can you turn it off night mode really quick and just show what it looks like? Okay, so this is night vision. This is not night vision. You can't, you can't, see you can't even see outside, dude. What? That's fucked up. Guys, we're doing this for you. The Conjuring completely at night. You ready? Let's do it. Oh. oh. Dude, this is fucked. Mm. Oh my god, I can't see anything. I actually can't see shit. Well, don't die. Just imagine you here. see his ankles go. Our friends were just up here. <laughs> we think you might have communicated with them. We mean no disrespect. We're just here to communicate. This is the good old Andrea Perrin room. One of these little toys. Take a deep on breath. The sand. If you want to move one of them, we'll know you're here. Bro. What a night. That was one of those things. The shirt that uh -huh. we just like cannot explain. Exactly. And we capture the evidence. And that really. <clears throat> 
I'm Punch dead. Mosquito. Fuck yeah. It explains why we do this in the first place. Exactly though. No, for real. Oh, oh that's a twig too right there. Did you also think that was a person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My twin right here, dog. I'm dead. I don't get it. How can when Satori and Cody touch each other, Abigail shows up in <gasps> this fucking rip on? Oh my god. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, wait. We can't go down fast. Go for what I said. Literally. Cody and Satori. Boom. That means something was in the basement. Oh my god. It was off for 30 minutes. Thank you. We hear you loud and clear. You want us to come into the basement. Head up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, now it's freaking the fuck? the fuck out. What the fuck is happening? Oh. It, like, it's it just like exploded with color. I've n I don't think I've ever seen the REM pod do that. Dude, we've seen like the REM pod do everything, but I don't think I have either. I can't picture somebody's just standing there. No. It's like something's trying to fuck with the equipment. Yeah, like, should we reset it? Like, what should we do? I think, I think we have to. Something about the basement is following us. It is so dark out here, guys. We can't see shit. Wait, is that a tent? What if there's like a hobo in there? Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's like going in someone's crib. Oh, is it locked? Oh yeah, it is locked. You can lock a tent. I didn't know that. Yeah. Abigail literally touched this piece of equipment when we asked her to when she was tapping around and she said that she would be following us and protecting us the entire time we were here and that she was you happy say all that that. We here like a protector. But then when we ask her, nothing. Why? Maybe she is protecting us, but she just isn't strong enough to communicate. Not again! Can you turn that off? Can you come upstairs with us? No. Uh oh, uh oh. They have been pissing me off we with his questions. If you're upstairs, can you come over here to this red light? Dude, it stopped completely, man. It stopped, and it's been going off this entire time. Let me Which check. It's, it's with us right now. Definitely. <sighs> okay, if you're up here. Oh my god! Oh, no, 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 no. That's when you Holy see Kobe's fuck. ankles oh, just. Oh my god. It's here, dude. You fucking <laughs> called it up here. Okay, okay, but isn't that the goal? Dude, you literally said, isn't what that the, the fuck, goal? Abigail? When we ask her to do things, she can't do anything. We literally asked. Whatever. Oh Stop my god. Stop calling that lady names. Stand. She tired. We're humans and, the, like, we probably just scared it away. We mean you no harm. Apparently, the story goes that there's five or seven soldiers here, and this is where one of them is, if you guys don't know. I wonder what his name is. Dave? If you're downstairs. Possible. <sighs> Showing that is this downstairs. Will you come right back upstairs one last time with us? Maybe not. Maybe don't ask that question. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, we can't freak out. Wait, do you want to try something? What? Do you want to, like, grab my wrist? Oh, my God. You all are not Kobe and Satori. Oh, gives a little energy. I mean, we've never tried that. We are not saying that we have the same power as Satori and Cody, but, like... Do you want to seriously try it? See? Do we have to take it seriously? For real. Or no, it's not even up here. Just try it. What and they that? might come up. It was a footstep. It was a fat footstep. Wait, it stopped. It might have been walking away. Just trying to go. Hello? Imagine that doll falls. I can hear them <gasps> yelling inside Upstairs. the house. Yeah, bro. Something bad's going on. We're just out here by the car. It's chilling. Yeah. I'd get in the car. If Why are they holding each other? The way, the way it just cuts from we're just outside chilling to them holding each other's wrists like that. Oh my gosh, that was funny. Chilling. Yeah. If there's any spirits here, that was funny. Would like to talk to us? Feel free to come forth. We mean the most respect. We truly just want to communicate. It's not up here. Okay, so you guys can't really see, but right over there, there's a big ass tree. Somewhere in there, Josh just said he saw like a blue light. Yeah, but then we just heard a noise together. It's weird because I'm hearing, well, well, we can hear something. And I don't see nothing. Well, of course, spirit. Yo, Sam. Yeah. Could you just imagine real quick? You're Andrea Parrott. <gasps> October 30th, 1974. Peeking around these corners. On the staircase. Door is slightly open. You look in. And you can barely see what's going on. You see your mom. All you can see is your mother writhing in pain. Right where the sofa is. She levitates. And get flung. 
was that? Did you see that on the camera? Nope, I didn't see it. Kind of dust. Right, Mine does, because right. it was a 300. Last chance. Your old house. We're about to leave for the night. Something's here. Please make yourself known. Fling the doors open. If you're in the library. <laughs> Again, after you just turned it off and on. It's just like everything is pointing to the basement. Everything. You're like That's like pretty much the only thing we've got. <laughs> Dude, right when I could get the REM pod in my field of vision. It stopped. It stopped. Everything at the beginning pointed to the woods. Now everything's pointed to the basement. But it's almost like they're preying on our fear. Because those are the two places that we don't want to go. I think this is over. Let's yeah. go get Josh and Seth. Okay. And literally as soon as I touch the front door. It's like doing an alarm Just like a police the siren. Turn the this lights last on. Little like huzzah, Shit. Man. Like, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Don't and people aren't gonna believe that because I just, I, it was right when I clicked off, like off record, right when I clicked that. Guys, oh, I heard it. The REM pod? Oh, yes, oh, yes. It went off. My Dude, God. the entire time it was going off. The entire time much. we were talking back and forth. We asked it to stop. It stopped and to come upstairs. Boom. The static sensor turned on. And oh, and no on. way, yeah, dude. And it's weird because when we were here without you guys, it didn't go off at all. Whatever it is, it's over and over pointing to the basement. Mm. Oh, God. Who's got floor? So, I decided that I'm not staying the night. You're not gonna stay the night? <laughs> nope. Sorry. You're gonna, you're gonna leave it to us three? Yo, I just can't do it. Oh my Aww. god. Seth, what are you thinking? You know, I would. But, where's the butt? <laughs> but, but, are you, are you, but, are you gonna butt us right now? It would be really funny to watch y'all suffer. Yeah. yeah! That's crazy. Well, I'm glad I blew up two mattresses for the floor. Oh, dude, I'm doing that for <laughs> sure, man. Yo, are you kidding me? Dude! Yeah, I'm doing this for sure. Yeah, oh, that and then so le Tim levitates. I don't feel safe at all in this house. I'm sorry. Well, half of me feels kind of bad. It's okay. Yeah, the other half other feels like. Which, I was just gonna say the other half yeah. of me is like feeling vengeance right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. Uh, it was fun. Guys. It was fun. First night alone, guys. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Uh jump scared me so like that's insane i'm ready for the 29th are y'all ready what do y'all think about this because clearly it's crazy no ain't it crazy make sure you comment down below because you know i want to know and if you like today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you comment share with that bell button so you never miss a video duh join the discord follow me on instagram tiktok something but also make sure you obliterate the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the lb crew what are you doing make sure y'all smash it and i'll see you on next video bye